So today I'm going to show you how to wrap a gift. Well, I'm pretty sure that most of you have done it already or well, if you haven't, then there's always a day that you will have to, especially if you have kids, so well, that's a must. And so I'm going to show you how to wrap a rectangular gift. And, and I have like two ways I'm going to show you to you. It's the traditional way and then the, the diagonal way. Um, so for both ways, you just need a wrapping paper, um, tape, scissors. If you don't think you can make a straight line, maybe you might need a roller, but you don't have to. So for the traditional way, you just need to put the wrapper facing down. Uh, and so you need to cut, I already did, but you need to cut it like, um, so you'll try to, so you, you could use a box. I just used books because well, I didn't want to have a box around. So um, you need to have on both sides, um, try to have it to meet ha halfway with just a little bit of spare. And so you take this and then you'll try to make uh, little tweezers and then you'll have triangular shapes and then you just have to tape this together. So at the end you'll have this and I'll, I have added a ribbon in it. Well, you could have your own ribbon like the handouts I just gave you. You could make your own ribbon. Um, okay, so that this is the traditional way and the traditional way is really easy and most people use it always. And the other one is the diagonal way. So the diagonal way, there are different ways of doing it and there are ways that make it easier, are much more economical. You could, you could save a lot of paper. I just use one that I'm used to do. Um, so for this, you just need to cut a rectangular piece of paper, a larger one. As you can see, my box is really small, but the paper has to be bigger. And for this, you need to place the wrapping paper um, facing down and, and diagonally in front of you and put the box um, in a diagonal way in front of you also. So the first thing you need to do is try to put the wrapper on top of the gift, um, just like I'm doing it, and try to put, and uh, then make it low key. And well, you're gonna do lots of triangle shape um, folds if you do it right. And so I'll try to make a triangle shape and then try to fold this on top of this and you'll take it here so I already have one done so when you do that this is what's gonna happen and for after this one you just take the the top side and try to do the same thing so another triangle and then just put the paper that's left on top of the other one and then just fold it and then tape it. So on the next one you just need to uh, put it upside down and so when you put it upside down you get this and for this one you need to get to the other side. Um, at first I had it like this so the side that's uh, on your right and so you do the same thing you just make another triangle and try to put that the paper that's left on the other side. And after this one, um, you may, you make another crease. And on this side, you need you need to make two triangles uh, for them to meet halfway. And not halfway, but you need to make two triangles. And then you need to put the other triangle under it and finish off with a triangular shape. Uh, fold. So at the end, this is what happens. Um, I put on it, but this is what happens. And so these are very easy ways of doing um, wrapping. It's a really easy ways of doing wrapping. But um, you, I, as I say, you can do the diagonal way in a very different ways. You could cut um, um, square shape paper and just do very easy ways. So there are really easy ways. So I say, as I said, um, I showed you two ways of wrapping rectangular gifts. So there are the traditional and diagonal way. Um, wrapping gifts is a really easy and fun thing to do. 
and it's really fun also because you get to uh, impress the person you're giving it to even though wrapping paper is not as important as the gift itself but wrapping paper makes it exciting since the person um, is gonna have the curiosity to open the gift thank you thank you